Hello, this is Karelian. Welcome to episode 24 of my Let's Play Total War, Ro Rome 2, in the Divided Roman Empire campaign, where we'll be playing on legendary difficulty as Aurelians of Rome. Now, last time we finished off the Nahanavari, and we began building... I keep soldering that name. I call them the Barleys. And we began building up our army here, um, so that we'd have more death attacks. Now, I'm going to try one army of these uh, Herculani. I really think the Joviani sound better. They have a defensive tech. These guys run faster. Heavily armed infantry are not necessarily known for their running fast, but you know, they're apparently really strong so they can run in heavy armor, I guess. Sure. Okay, you. Uh, We've been moving very quickly. So, do I want to just disband this army and rebuild it too? I think the answer is yes. We're getting rid of the armies that have nothing decent and rebuilding. Now, I'm not going to get rid of the general just because there's no reason to. Next turn, you will be able to start building up. The guy will get there a turn or so after you. How much do I pay for you? 245. Yeah, I don't really need to disband you. Part of me wants to save that 245 gold, but we will not. Um, we need at least one more stack to come this way. But I'm not necessarily in a huge hurry. You are already marching. You're marching that way. Oh, okay. So maybe I move you that direction instead. In which case, you come to right here. You'll build the last few units here and you'll head north west. We're going to go take the islands. And we'll see how well your army does. I really do think these equites are amazing. 104 armor is just ridiculous. But then again, there's only 60 of them, so you know. You can only do so much, but ridiculously good for what they, what they have. Okay. Um, you come to there. We have two of the armies sitting here. That is annoying. You come in. You assault garrison. I only need five of these to go off. And I'd rather, um not blow more money than I have to. But we do need to keep doing these, as it is the difference between, uh, you know, having a perfect empire that never revolts and facing a revolt. You know, part of me thinks that if you really wanted to achieve this game, you would leave, like, one, um, like, one region and just sit there and stare at it of the blue romans i missed if that succeeded i'm gonna assume that it did so that's four you should be five and if not it's okay if we only get four because i missed if that was successful it's fine we're making up to twenty-seven thousand. now that number is going to go down but we're going to be happy with that for now you, I need to bring you this way. I'm going to change my mind on you. I need more, because once I'm done up here on this side, I'm not going to leave a Blana sitting there to get picked on. We're going to need to uh, come and deal with this. Okay. Now, last time I, I want to go through once more and just make sure that I don't have any slums growing. Potentially, and then what we're going to do is we're going to spend our money in the regions making the most money. 
And the reason for that is a lot of what we're going to be building is exponential growth, 4% over everything. And in that, if that's the case, you want 4% of more money rather than 4% of less money. So we're going to go with the biggest bang for our buck type building. That may not always be the case. There are areas that are smaller that will have, you know, build this and you get like 10% all economy, but we're not going to worry about those as much. Okay. And again, we just want to make sure, because it's sometimes there's time between my play, that we don't have some sky. That's cheap, and it will produce pretty good for the area. Okay, so I'm not going to bother with that, though. So, Latium, is there anything here I could produce that would make me money? Build both of those up, build that up, that up. Wealth from Commerce. So yeah, we're throwing all our money into one place at a time, but I think it's the bet the the better move at the moment. Get regions that are making five, ten thousand gold because Lat um, Latium can definitely make five thousand gold. We know that because the previous one, uh, before I lost the the Green Romans or the Gaelic Romans uh, campaign, we were up to five thousand there. And it's possible we'll need to be at 5,000 there again. Okay, you, you can't move. Uh, so that gives us to an intern. Nope, we have a person who got promoted. Kerlydia. Uh That one does better poisoning. And that is what you do. You poison up the wazoo. I would really not mind if some of my allies just got destroyed, because then I could just conquer their lands without having to turn on them. But I think that eventually I'm just going to turn on them all. I, I like painting the map red, for at least the Romans. Um, I like to deal with the rat catchers, I think it's worth spending the extra money on that. Mm, not hugely important. It's mildly important. That one is hugely important. Okay. Well, we'll start off with our espionage because, again, expensive but necessary. One down. Mischief and mayhem. Two down. What do you wish of me? Sabotage. An excellent choice. Three down. By my hand, it is done. I will teach them to fear us. Four down. Will is done. Then we'll come over here. And you have a ninety-five percent chance, so We'll take that one. Excellent. Okay. That handles that. Uh, next is military. Build. You are going to be heading east, so I'm not going to move you past here. And you will begin by building up four of these and one of those. Uh, it's the most cost-effective way. Your army is done. Um, come here. How can I be you need to race eastward. Because things to kill people to... Undermine. You're a good army. 
You need to come and deal with this. You. By the time you get here, his army will be over half done. Okay, so that leaves us with builds. I didn't rip anything down last time. Now, I don't think I need this here anymore. I need something that produces commerce. That's culture. Well, 160 from commerce. That actually produces commerce. Now I got rid of commerce. Why do I need commerce here anymore? I don't need commerce here anymore, right? Well, that's 20% of commerce. So yeah, that's why. Okay, I remember there was something here that meant commerce was more important. So we can move on to this region. This region only has three settlements. It must be the gold mine. It produces a ton of wealth. Um, go there. Go there. Build that. Build that. Build that. And we're just going to try to buff these, you know, rich regions as fast as we can. Uh, let's take a look in our empire. We can have spread rumors about you this turn, but that's okay. We're starting to get lots of wealth, so making these really uber good stacks is worth the while. Just keep doing it and we'll be in a good position. You're terrible. I think I pay upkeep for you. And it's a waste of time. This dude has a lot has been around for a long time and has not gotten very good. His best thing is in the 30% range, where the guy next to him can do a 95% chance of doing being subversive. It's not one does not equal These the other. These people trouble the Senate of Rome greatly. I respectfully ask that you do something. Huh. So if I join the war here, I don't think it messes up my alliance, but. It also kind of ruins my plans, because I, if Bosporo wants to turn on me, I'm willing to have that fun. I just need more armies to be able to deal with both the Colchis and the Bosporo. And we will lose some, but it's okay. For consulting the books, you do that. Okay. First thing, military builds. Commander. You get your last heavy onager, and then come up here, pick up four cab. You. Ready for orders. I'm gonna bring you in together. Same with you. It just makes the most sense to bring you together. There's no reason not to. What can you get? Uh, sure, have that. Get better. I want the war to be successful. And you may not always be together. You get there. Okay, so that is the military builds. Now we need to be subversive for at least five times. You try the 73 poison provisions. That was good. Poison the wells. My skills are yours. That's two. Poison the wells. How can I help? It's three. Beat up the garrison. Cry havoc. Uh, 
You, the march is long, but keep going. Your army. Come to there. Uh, this should be our fifth. Okay. Now then, making the monies. Latium. That should give me enough to tell the people how this guy is a terrible individual who hates his mother. We are at still only 445 senators. Really nice to get up to that last level. Okay. How much is Latium making at this point? 2,500 with lots of things that are going to expand it by multiple percentages. In five turns or so, we're going to see that this is producing just vast sums. Very sad I, I'm not getting two slots here. It's very weird. Okay, um, we have some promotions. Let's deal with that. You. Uh, be a slaughterer. Uh, who else? You. Make my army cheaper. Minus 18% upkeep is great. I wish I could have 16 patricians running around with my armies, but not possible. At least, I don't think in this game it's possible. Uh, seems unlikely since I think I subverted someone and they died because they I had the cap in this one. Okay, back to us rolling around. We want to make the battle in the aisles as fast as possible, so we have a uh, monetary reform. What does this need? Unit replenishment, growth. Sure, fulfill the prophecy. Okay, I am going to... Let's do a few things. I have to pause the video in just a minute. But I have a little bit of time. So we're going to go and do our military builds. We'll build up our, our subversion, or all of our builds, and then we'll deal with our um, our other stuff afterwards. We're going to go back to you because I think you guys are better. Do some subversion because subversion must be plentiful and often. They will never know I was there serving. One good. I will see it done. Too good. I have seen it. How may I serve you? You go after the city. I will see it done. I am Rome's champion. Nope, you failed. That's sad. You should succeed, though. We will come to you. That's good. Okay. See, this guy sucks. You're the wrong guy. Give me the guy that doesn't is not horribly miserable in every way. 
spear is a powerful weapon. They're building up more armies here. But that's fine. I'm building up more armies. Okay, we're gonna do our our economic builds, and then we will move on. If I built that to here, you get 95 more gold. Do it. Build both of these up. That doesn't increase money. Rate hit Norcom. That's wealth everywhere. That makes more wealth. And then that leaves... You being a terrible person. Okay, so we're gonna deal with our military movements in a in just a moment. I have to pause and I'll be right back. Okay, we are back. I think we ended with yeah, telling him he was a terrible person. You have one more turn. You need to be built up fully. Ready for orders. Going aboard. Time to bring all these guys out to sea. Because why not? Faster, damn you all! Ready for battle. On course. Now when we land, we don't want to be on force march. That's going to be important, so it may take two turns. And then we will begin the war with them again. Those three armies should be able to deal with any and all issues, and if worse comes to worse, I'll build another army. Over there. There's something to be said for you should have as many armies as you could reasonably afford, but I mean, we're barely spending any money on our regions, and it's just sucking up all of our income. We do have several regions that are making over. Um, 2,000 gold at this point. Thracia. That would be a big boom here. We need a lot of growth in Thracia. Tementium is not very big. Okay. Let's do an intern. Nope. Let's do our buff real fast to Gaius. Okay. Gaius Clulius Sula. What does that do? Sure. It'll end the turn. You need to run faster. I want at least two more armies in the east before we take out the car Cartley. We strongly urge you to attack here. No. I do understand. I agree with you. At this point, we've been an episode and almost two episodes without a battle. But. That's interesting. They're all the way up to Nicomedia. Hmm. More triumphs. Endlessly more triumphs. Okay. You come over here. Maybe I'll send the... One, one army down that direction. Okay, you We're gonna come this way. We want them to leave this area. Tired of them being in my lands. This area could be so good. But it's a bit down on the list of builds. Okay. First thing to do is, before I start spending money, prepare the last of my army. So you're going to come here, and you're going to get four more of these dudes. And you will come to Patavium. And 
This is 150, the 103. Pick up your first archer unit. Not that it really is going to change the speed at which you get out. Whatever, we'll, we'll do it. You get upgraded. Because why not? Yes. All of you. Just come rolling on over here. Put your backs into it, you, men. you need to be like this. I really prefer them not to be in force march when they come up onto the shore. Okay, you. What do you wish of me? Um. Poison some provisions over here. Was there ever? What do you wish? Of me? Poison the provisions there. Was there ever How can I be of assistance? Poison the provisions here. I will do sabotage. Oh, that's been fast. And then assault this garrison. And we'll fight some of these. I don't know if I'll fight it, Camelodon. I probably should. I just don't like fighting the wild settlements in, in Rome, too. I, I've said that several times. I just don't think it's as fun as in, like, Attila or Rome 1. The city battles in this one just don't don't interest me a whole lot. You... Fear is... That should be at 5. Let's check our politics, see how we're doing. No chance. They're even up, but I could secure loyalty on them again. Which means they're even up without secured loyalty. Plus 21 from subversion. That's just awesome. Of course, we're throwing five, 6,000 gold a turn at it. It's not cheap. But it's awesome that we were able to do it. Okay, so the war there is going to begin shortly. War in the east is a little bit further away. Let's do some builds. Oh, I was looking at happiness. I want money. You're actually the number one at the moment. Interesting. You pass a Latium. Latium up. So let's throw some money your way. Civil. Civil. Get that. And that should be everything. Call cool, Wraith at Nork and suddenly start. I think it's because of this. 20% wealth from all these mines is a lot. That's a, what you're really looking for. Oh, and this. You know, 16% from everything, 20% from this. The, the numbers start really adding up. Okay, we have a skill with one of our rogues. Roget. You. Um, pick up your last cunning skill. You have a cunning of 12. That's awesome. Okay. Now, I'm assuming that they have m at least two more full stacks somewhere. So that's what we're going to run with. And it's possible they have more. For now, we're going to assume they have at least two full, full stacks hiding where we don't see them. So we're really going to have to spread out our agents in the area before we separate our armies. We shall put aside the swords and draw the bow. The arrow will strike where it will, and widows will weep. I don't get why you're attacking me. That made no sense. Are you actually going to attack me? If you don't attack me, that is the weirdest thing ever. No, they didn't. They just... Okay, apparently they just want to join my empire. They've been like, we've been waiting... My lord offers you peace. Tomorrow, his preoccupation... Mm, no, you're peace. not willing to pay for it. It really doesn't hurt me to be at war with you, so whatever. Okay, I don't think they turned on me. Oh, 
Okay, so we get an important character or political favor. We're going to get an important character. Okay. All of you need to not be on that. Returning to land. Yeah. We're trespassing, all right. It is an honor to serve Rome. But I don't know if you could defeat this with like everything you have. Okay, time to spend some money. What do you wish for me? I will see. Level nine. My skills. You. I do. Only 77%, but it worked. You. Wait, 77 is an improvement. I was thinking these guys at 95. Because they're like, we are almost impossible to fell. Our income dropped to 23,000. We're building up really expensive armies. And it is a beginning to take its toll up against us, apparently. Commander. I have not had a battle in two episodes. This is not an exciting battle. But I have not had a battle in two episodes, and I think I should have a battle. So let's have a battle. There's a point where if you're not going to fight anything, it seems pretty silly. And we outnumber them, but not ridiculous amounts. Our cavalry is going to be of limited use in the settlement anyways. So we're going to pause and we'll be back to do this battle at Mitshata, since they really wanted to join my empire. Okay, we have a nice dry day, so we'll start our deployment. You two... Come right here. Um, you guys come like that. If we take out these two towers, our archers should be able to have a field day, because I don't think they had any archers. Uh, you guys do not fire at will. You guys get out of skirmisher mode. And then we'll start the battle. Take out that arrow tower, take out this arrow tower, and we'll speed up as we go. I don't really need them to. Do you have ammo that does better against buildings? Yeah, use flammable rounds, it gets a bonus versus buildings. Of course, if you can't hit, it doesn't really matter. The enemy's tower has been destroyed! Well, that tower, too. Because the towers are scarier than anything else they have going on. The enemy's tower has been destroyed! Um... Take out the gate. Okay. You guys. Come here. Well, they do have slingers. One of our units has used all its ammunition. One of our units has used all its ammunition. You guys. All of you, go for these slingers. Is there another unit of slingers? It's okay, we're armored. We'll be fine. Should be doing some side damage to some of the other units as well.
Not killing them that fast on the wall. Okay. You guys come up here and take the wall. Killing off the slinger units. Go for these axe warriors now. Uh, you guys come around here. You took some damage, what but the others are used all its ammunition? unaffected. How many did you kill? Only 34, 67, 58, 60. One of our units has used all its ammunition. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Oh, we have a javelin in here. One of our units has used all its ammunition. And you need to get this. Now this, I guess, would be where those fast unit would be nice to catch these javelin. Oh, they came back in. So kill these javelin men. So we have two units that have taken mild damage. Um, you guys get up on the wall. You head that way. Shield screen should be good against infantry, right? Yeah, melee defense. You guys come down to here. You're getting pretty beat up. You get up on the wall. You get down here. You guys get in the back here. We have Eastern Cavalry, Horse Archers, etc. You just stay right here for now. I don't think we've tried out these Heavy Shot Cav. Let's say we try out these Heavy Shot Cav. Isn't the city of wild mine yet? Okay. You guys. We have captured the gates! Cool. What are you doing? Okay. You're, you come sit over here. Take that point. Okay, heavy shot cav. Go say hi to their eastern cav. Oh, I tried to get a good view there and it didn't work. Go get these archers. Oh, they had pikemen there. We're actually holding up pretty well against pikemen. No, we're not doing good enough. Back off. You guys. Come here. Yeah. They I was like, oh they're actually living. But no, once they lost the shock they were they were done.
You guys have a tech into pseudo all of you do that. And then get into here. We are attacking a pike line head on, which is just not great. You guys get over here. We'll go around. This point of cab, right? Mobility. Coming from behind. Okay. Not a great battle, but I wanted to test them out. They did really great against the Cav, and then they ran into Pikes and went, oh, Pikes do suck. Anyways, we're going to pause and be right back. Okay, so we'll occupy Machika. Appius becomes a level 9 general. Now we'll go with Civil. No, not what I wanted. Knock that down. Knock that down, knock that down, knock that down. It's 200 gold. We'll spend money on this region this turn, I guess. I already built my troops, right? Because if not... I have not. So let's go back and not build up that line. Um, we're not going to bother to build those two. 11,000 gold, yeah. Um, not worth it at the moment. Especially not in a region with nothing else of value going on. Okay, so you're going to get three more of these, two of those, and that'll be good to go. Okay. At your command. We hunger for battle. Ready for orders. Advance. Should we start this war? I think the answer is yeah. We should start this war. We will. Um. There is no reason to fight this battle. We fought the other one, and these guys are weaker and already battered. So we're just going to auto-resolve in the aggressive manner, and we have a foothold in this region. Anyone take anything now? Nothing bad. Okay, so... We now have wars in the west. Er, in the west. I have to decide if I want to take out Mauritania. Anyways, we're going to end here. Uh, that forms a save point. We'll be able to do some other stuff when we come back next time. So like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave it below. Otherwise, I will talk to you later. Adios.